You go. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna introduce you more to James. He is my husband and uh, he's a really cool dude and a lot of you on Instagram have asked me questions about us and our relationship. So I've written them down and we're gonna answer them together. So we'll just go straight in with, how did you meet? Well, I was following you on Instagram and then I DM'd you quite a few times until you finally wrote back. Good, that's right, yeah. <laughs> correct. And then basically, yeah, so he reached out to me a few times and I don't really know how I missed them to be honest. And then he wrote something back that was like quite in depth of something that I was moaning about on my stories and he just caught my eye and then we started speaking and that was in about August, like around my birthday. Um, and then we kind of just spoke every day since that. And then I was teaching in Bali and he was like, hey, why don't you come to the Gold Coast and train with me after? So I headed to Bali for some training and end up, ended up falling in love. How did we know we, we were the one for each other? It just felt right. Right. Yeah, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> didn't it? Yeah, it did. There's just no questions, no doubts. We just had very similar lives growing <laughs> up and it's very, very similar minds, mindset and yeah, I don't know. We just feel, well, I feel like we are the same down to the bone. Other, other, other half. Yeah. And I think it's really important that when we were talking before I'd got to Australia, there wasn't one message that was like flirty or sexual or anything about physical appearance. So I knew that I had a connection with this guy on like an emotional level. And then obviously I was attracted to him too. So I think that like is very different for me in the past. I've always like fancied people, whereas I fancied his soul. And then I realized like he's the one. He is the one. How often do we have sex? Oh, quite a lot. <laughs> quite a lot. If I'm not on my period, then yeah. it's usually once or twice a day. So that's, that's good, that is. Do you do his washing? Yes, if we're not in Bali, I do his washing. Laundry is like my favorite thing in the whole wide world and I'm more than happy to do that for you. Even though I actually spilt toothpaste on this top of his and he's still wearing it because I haven't washed it yet. Do you like me doing your washing? Yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> do we have anal sex? Nah. Nah. Mm -mm. Do you want anal sex? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. It's <laughs> what happens. Uh, what's your favourite sex position? Hmm. Is mum going to be watching this? Yeah, mum will probably be watching this. Well, I don't know. Doggy is pretty good. Yeah, I, I agree. That's, <laughs> that's an agreed one. How long did you wait to have sex? A little bit. Like a few days. Probably three or four days. Yeah, it was like spent like four whole days together, I think, before we ended up having sex. And I wasn't even gonna that day, but I ended up staying at his, which was unplanned. Um, and then he started kissing me. And I was like, no, I'm gonna have to do it now. You seem like the fake perfect couple. Do you fight sometimes? Not so much fight, just one won't be as stoked or pleased on doing something. But like it hasn't even really happened that much. It's just mainly the, I'm just thinking about the needle thing you made me do and I got a bit angry about that. But it wasn't a <laughs> I'm gonna say, with Je I like, in my opinion, we actually haven't even had a disagreement yet. But yeah, yeah, not really. Like well, I still did yet. it with the, I didn't want to, I, I hate basically, needles and she made me get a needle. For, I made him get a blood test. And, uh, and I was fine, so. Yeah, and um, well, I'm sorry I upset you that day. But apart from that, no, we actually haven't had any fights yet. And um wouldn't say we're a perfect couple, but in my opinion, we're as perfect as I would ever Probably imagine. Perfect for each other. Yeah. What is James really good at in bed? Snooze champion. <laughs> you mean sexually? <laughs> Everything, really. Taking your time with me, being patient. 
loving me. <laughs> it's gonna like jump on you then. <laughs> Be right back. No, um, he's actually pretty good at going down on me, to be honest. I never really enjoyed that too much before, but I quite like that now. <laughs> Must admit. One to ten, how good is the sex? Oh, I'd have to be ten. Or up there. Or up there. Alright. Yeah, I'm glad we good. I'm glad we agree on that one. Are oh, y'all swingers? Nah. Oh, on the bars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we swing on the bars. No, we don't swing with any other couples. It's not something that I'm interested in. I hope that it's not something that you're interested in. Um But I'm learning a lot that like Older couples go swinging now, and uh, I'm non-judgmental, so <laughs> ask us again when we're 60 and <laughs> we might change, I don't know, but for now, no. Have you considered having a threesome? Not with us. Not, no, we haven't talked about it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Answer is no. <laughs> do, you, do you agree with OnlyFans? Yeah. I'm on it. Oh yeah, he's on it now, yeah. anyway. Um, I don't have only fans. Yeah, fully supportive of it. Um, there's, I don't see anything bad about it, really. It's uh, helping us live this life and, um, yeah. It's just do you have any, I'm going to expand on this because it's a good point. Like, do you have any tips for any boys that their girls want to join OnlyFans but they don't really know how to comprehend it? Hmm. Well, they're just photos, like, whoever's looking at them, they're not touching them or anything, like, they're going to look at photos of their Instagram or Facebook or anything anyway, so, like, it doesn't really matter, and if you're going to get paid for it, then why not? There you go. If you're a male that needed to hear that, I'm glad that you've heard that. How did we cope with long distance or the time difference when we had to do it? It wasn't too bad, really. Like, I'd talk to you when I'd wake up in the morning, and then I'd start work, and then you'd go to bed. And then I'd do my thing throughout the day and then just in the afternoon you'd be awake and then I'd talk to you. Yeah, I think like Australia to England isn't too much of a bad time difference because they're kind of like 11 or 12 hours. But I do remember I used to wake up like an hour earlier just so I could talk to him. And then probably stay up an hour later to talk back. But I don't know. I'm pretty relaxed and I think he is too with like not having to hear from someone all the time. So it didn't really bother us, we just made use of the time that we could speak. Does being flexible make it more juicy in bed? Yeah. It I does? Thought, yeah, I reckon. No, I don't really know the difference. I'm not flexible. I think there's something about me. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like, I'm the one that gets to enjoy the flexibility. <laughs> like, but. for me personally, my legs have always gone wherever, so I haven't really ever felt a difference in how... Yeah, I you can't wouldn't imagine any, how... You, I, you wouldn't know any different. Yeah. But, oh, so it does. But me enjoying a flexible person is cool. Oh, there you go. How would you feel if I rocked a bush? I wouldn't mind it, but I don't know. It's whatever. It's just it's however just, it goes. Yeah. What's your favourite thing about each other? Everything. <laughs> Everything. I don't know. Oh. Favourite thing. What's your favourite thing? My favourite thing is probably, I think that you are so selfless and I think that you'd do anything to make me smile. <laughs> and it makes me really happy. Yeah, your heart is probably my favourite thing. Ah. Uh, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. In it. In it. Well, that's all the questions that we got asked that were appropriate to answer. So, I hope you enjoyed and it answered some of your questions that you have about us. Oh, there was one more but I didn't write it down. <laughs> Why did we get married so fast? When I do it, you're, you're pretty fair at talking. <laughs> well, basically, we kind of like joked about the marriage. We knew that we would be married one day. And obviously that meant that one of us needed to move countries and England wasn't an option. It's just made sense to get married when we did. And also, like now we've done it, we just feel like, you know, a married couple. There's no like waiting or pressure on like when are you gonna get married or, or if it, I don't know, it doesn't really seem like a big deal to us, did it? Just it like, doesn't feel there's no difference being married to just relationship anyway. Like, yeah, like just because you got that on. That's it though. Other than that, it just feels like a relationship. Yeah, it's just a commitment with no pressure. 
commitment to each other and, and there we go. <coughs> Happily married. Okay, well, see you later. <laughs> That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.